Hello, this is John N5ID. This is my latest project, a little 20 meter mini Yagi. I built this out of shooting star, 16 foot telescopic fiberglass fishing poles that I picked up at the local fishing store. They were about $14 a piece. I had to buy four of them and then the boom is made out of one inch PVC pipe. Let's get up here a little bit closer and I'll give you the measurements. That's a dipole center. I'm stepping away for just a second. That's a dipole center insulator. It's a jet stream. I think they're about $13 at r &L Electronics and basically the driven element is just a dipole and I use loading coils to shorten this beam up so from the center of the beam to the first winding on the loading coil is exactly 68.5 inches and then from the last winding on the loading coil to the end of the driven element is 65 inches the reflector has the same same measurements except from the end of the last winding is 71.5 inches and it's critical that you get the loading coils the exact same length from the middle of the beam on the driven element and as you can see out there on the reflector now to make this driven element is actually pretty simple I'll try and get up here a little bit closer I apologize the cameras all over the place when you start your winding, you don't count that half turn, and when you end your winding, you don't count that half turn. This is one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with 12 full turns of 10 gauge stranded copper wire. Now let me also get a picture of the boom. The boom is 108 inch, 108 inches long and if you try and shorten the boom uh, any more than that you're not going to get good front to back ratio also you'll notice I added these support cords running to the end so that the boom would not sag and the center is simply a one inch cross that I got at uh, Lowe's and then to hook the beam into your rotor there's just a one inch piece of PVC pipe and this is a one inch piece of PVC, PVC pipe running up to connect the support cords that's basically it very simple to build uh, very inexpensive and as you're going to see on the video in a few moments, I believe it's going to have good gain over my full wave loop. We ought to get at least an S unit, and I'm just going to put it up on a 12-foot tripod temporarily. We're going to listen in to a POTUS station here on 14.294. I'll have to be pretty quick with switching antennas back and forth between the 80 meter full wave loop and my 80 meter full wave loop works great on 80 meters, 40 meters and 20 meters and the little mini beam for 20 meters is only up at 12 feet. The loop is up at about 22 feet. I'm going to turn the volume up here. We'll start off on the loop. Whiskey 4, X-ray, Charlie Oscar. I got a Whiskey 4, X-ray, Charlie Oscar, 5-7 to the park. 
to the Soap Group. Roger, Roger, I've got you 5-5 five, five here in North Florida. I thank you for your activation. I'm on the loop. 73 and a half on, please. There's the bing. Back to the loop. You can see he came up on the beam and went down on the loop. There's the beam. And there's the loop. Loop. He's on the loop now. Now the beam. Back to the loop. There's the beam. Loop. I know it's hard to tell we're getting some bleed over, but it's at least an S unit better on the beam. There's the beam. Back to the loot. It dropped about an S unit to an S unit and a half. I got to be quick when I'm listening to a POTA station. He is in New York and I have the beam pointed towards New York and we're seeing about about an S unit of difference, maybe a little more. The beam is about an S unit better up at 12 feet. Isn't that amazing? A little mini Yagi for 20 meters outperforming the full wave loop. Here's the SWR on the beam. I've got it just a little bit long. It's resonant at 14 dot zero 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 and as I go up the band you can see the SWR goes up a little bit I want to get it resonant in the phone portion of the band so I'll probably have to trim a inch or inch and a half off of it what a great little antenna that you can build for a hundred and twenty bucks Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.